Geostorm is directed by Dean Devlin and stars Gerard Butler as one of the smartest scientists who ever lived who designed a giant space station orbiting Earth called Dutch Boy. Its job is to control possible weather disasters that could plague mankind, and when something goes wrong, what's called a geostorm threatens to destroy the entire population. Dean Devlin was a producer of Stargate, Independence Day, the 1998 Godzilla. He has collaborated with Roland Eimrich, the king of disaster movie directors, for a very long time, and this is his directorial debut. And what does he direct? A 1990s disaster storm porn movie, because that's what this is. Some of those movies can be very entertaining if you view them from the right lens, that usually being a party with friends when you really don't care and you're laughing at everything that happens because that's exactly what this movie is made for. However, this one, unfortunately, just like every single one of them, tries to take itself very seriously. And it follows the exact same formula of virtually every disaster movie made by Roland Eimrich or Dean Devlin as a producer in the past. There is not one single surprise in this entire film. Every single moment can be predicted. Most of the dialogue is very obvious jokes laced with pop culture references, political discussions with a lot of jargon thrown at you, and the central bromance between Jim Sturgis and Gerard Butler, who play actual brothers, is one of the more emotional parts of the film. They always cut back to this and they try to make it be that emotional weight it keeps you connected with these characters. The problem is, the casting here is absolutely atrocious. I don't buy for a second that Butler is the world's smartest scientist. I don't buy for a second that Jim Sturgis works with the president. There are only a handful of principal characters in this film that I actually bought into. Abby Cornish as a Secret Service agent, and Ed Harris as Ed Harris, because he's Ed Harris, and he lends credibility to just about anything. You don't really have to write great dialogue to make Ed Harris credible. This is that type of movie where every major character confrontation is resolved by somebody getting punched in the face. And it's always that asshole character that we're told we're supposed to hate because he's being really mean to the good guys. It's that type of film where the third act tension is derived from a screen saying Geostorm alert and then a countdown letting us all know when the Geostorm will occur. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, guys. This is storm porn at its best. And it's filled with so many implausible moments, like astronauts zooming through space, flipping back and forth like 10 times faster than Sandra Bullock did in Gravity, somehow attaching themselves to something while a thousand pieces of debris are flying everywhere, like meteorites. It's the type of movie where when someone reviews security camera footage, the security camera appears to be on a dolly, slowly moving towards its subject. And just like 1998's Godzilla, our principal characters are fleeing from some force of nature in a taxi cab. And of course, they're outrunning it. This film became so tedious and boring to watch that I found myself more interested in the changing length and color of Butler's facial hair. Because apparently this movie went under a lot of reshoots, he even seems to be changing body mass size. Like, he seems more muscular in certain takes and then less muscular in others. His facial hair goes from really dark black to a little grayish black and then longer and shorter. Guys, this movie is a mess. It's bookended by Butler's daughter narrating the film, talking about how great her dad is. It's, it's, it's exactly what you thought it would be. 100% exactly what you thought it would be. And if you want to go to a theater and watch an incredibly stupid disaster movie with a bunch of special effects that really doesn't have as much of the disaster stuff as you might expect. It's actually more about scientists trying to prevent that from happening. But it's just another movie that somehow is filled with a bunch of stars about some disaster that's going to happen, and Dean Devlin, of course, is involved with it. I'm gonna give Geostorm a D. If you watch this movie honestly not caring, you can overlook a lot of the flaws. This movie certainly didn't make me mad. I knew exactly what I was getting into when I walked into the theater. I was ready to be surprised by anything, but it follows beat for beat, and, and sometimes almost shot for shot, the types of disaster movies that Dean Devlin has always been involved in. So I don't really know what to say. <laughs> oh my god. Now, if you guys follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you know that we recently completed a short film. It's about 35 minutes long. It's called Auditorium 6, 
and it's going to be premiering next week here in Cleveland, Ohio. We're also submitting it to a lot of film festivals and eventually down the road after it's done a hopeful film festival run of some kind, I will put it on some form of VOD service so people around the world who aren't in the United States can hopefully watch and enjoy our short film we made. Uh, a lot of people have asked about this. I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do with that in the future. I would love to make a Blu-ray. I would love to put it on Amazon Video Direct. I will see if I can. But for now, if you guys want to come see our film, there's a link in the description below for tickets. The premiere is next week, October 25th. It's six bucks for a ticket. You can see the movie. There's a Q&A afterwards with myself and the cast. And I have 250 uh, posters that I printed off that myself and the cast will sign and give away. And I hope to see as many of you there as can make it. If you're in Ohio or the surrounding area, I'd love to meet you and show you our film because we're all very proud of it and we're excited to share it with you. So I hope to see you there. That link is in the description below, as I said. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.